So a severe allergic reaction or anaphylaxis is, is a sudden and severe multi-system uh, reaction after exposure to something that a person is allergic to. So for example, um, if you eat peanut or peanut butter um, and have, you can have problems with vomiting um, plus um, hives, that would be considered severe. Or if you have um, breathing problems and, and, and skin, skin reactions such as hives, that would be considered severe. But some people can have a, a severe reaction with hives, vomiting, uh, um, breathing problems, and low blood, blood pressure. So it's a multi-system reaction that occurs very suddenly, and that's what's potentially life-threatening. Well, when, when someone is diagnosed, especially with a, with a food allergy, it's very important that they, they, they understand what does it mean to have an allergic reaction and that they may be at risk for having a more severe and potentially life-threatening reaction. So they need to know about avoidance of their allergens, so how to read a label, um, making sure that they know where potential foods, for example, uh, sesame seeds, where there could be potential uh, where they could be potentially found, instruct them how to read the label, uh, carrying an epinephrine auto injector on a regular basis, making sure they're wearing a medical alert bracelet which would alert others of their potential allergic reaction if they can't speak for themselves. And all of those things needs to be reinforced. At the same time, reassuring the, the, the patient that with that vigilance and with the, with the avoidance, the chances of having a severe reaction is very low. I think some of the myths about uh, food allergy is, is, is one very important one, and that is that all food reactions are the same. So when somebody says, I have a food allergy, you have other people thinking anything from an intolerance to, to something that's potentially very severe. So for example, there's some people who are lactose intolerant, so they have milk products or something that contains some milk sugar lactose and they get cr cramps, they get bloating, and they get diarrhea. And some people believe that that's an allergy, which it's not. There are other types of, of allergies that just involve the intestinal tract, where you get either delayed vomiting or you can get delayed abdominal pain related to exposure to a food. And again, although it involves the gastrointestinal tract and it can be uh, uncomfortable and potentially severe, it is not life-threatening. And then there's the patients who have the true severe food allergies that, that actually have a potentially life-threatening reaction that involves a number of different body systems. So I think it's important that people realize that not all food reactions are the same. Um, another myth with regards to food allergies is that if you use an antihistamine earlier on in the reaction, potentially you can stop a more severe reaction. And I think that's very important to reinforce that that is not something that you should do and that a use of an antihistamine does not prevent a severe, potentially life-threatening reaction. And so to use that would, uh, would may maybe delay the use of epinephrine, which is the most important medication. As with regards to the, the truce, and the very important thing is that uh, with uh, vigilance and with avoidance, the chances of having a sudden severe reaction is very, very low. And more importantly, uh, I mean, the other important truth is that if you know that you're allergic to something, you've ingested that product, and you're starting to have early signs of an allergic reaction, it would be important to use the epinephrine auto injector early before onset of any severe respiratory difficulties, because that's what's important to try to counteract this allergic reaction. So if somebody who gets hives, and throws up once. It means a lot of people will not use their auto injector for that reaction, and my recommendation would be that they do, because by definition, that's multi-system. And the fact that they didn't have a more severe reaction uh, actually is, I think they're very lucky. So it's really important. Now, for some people who have had previous severe reactions, and they ingest something that they're allergic to, and all of a sudden just faint, by definition, that's anaphylaxis. So that's now one system, but they've had previous severe reactions in the past. And so it's going to be different for, for each individual. So I think it's important that early use of epinephrine is, is the key.